In this ayah, Allah has given us a very basic, something even a child can understand, but at the same time, a very powerful look at iman. Iman itself. Iman is the most basic thing, right? For, for any Muslim, any believer, iman is the most basic thing. But Allah has given us this worldview that comes from iman that is life-changing. And let me tell you what it is. Allah mentioned three aspects of iman in this ayah, right? He mentioned, مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَعَمِلَ الصَّالِحًا These were the three things that were mentioned to be successful in the next life. لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْسَنُونَ Now listen to this. Allah Azza wa Jal before this ayah mentioned such terrible, terrible, terrible crimes that Bani Israel committed. We've been reading about them. And now he says, the first iman was iman in Allah. A necessary consequence in believe, of believing in Allah is that you will definitely, definitely, definitely believe in the next life. It's a consequence of believing in Allah. If you don't believe in Allah, then it's very difficult for you to accept that there is a life after this one. But if you believe in Allah, a logical consequence of that is the afterlife. How so? If you believe in Allah, don't you and I believe everything He does is perfect? Flawless, right? If there is a God, you're talking to an agnostic or a philosopher, you know, philosopher, an atheist. If there is a God, if there was one, He'd be perfect in every way. Yes, agreed. So if He does anything less than perfect, He can't be God anymore. Has to be, everything He does has to be perfect. Now, He created this world, yes or no? He did. Now look around this world, you see justice or injustice? You don't see justice, you see injustice, you see innocent people being killed. You see children dying of disease. You see murderers getting away with killing a thousand people. When, a, when a, one man kills ten people, what's the most you can do to him? What's the, most, what's the just punishment you can give him? You could kill him, okay, how many times? Once. If he killed one person, you can kill him once. If he killed a thousand people, you can still only kill him once. So you can, you can come to a very easy conclusion that there is no justice. In the end, no perfect justice in this world. You can try to get justice, but there's no perfect justice in this world. Then this is what, by the way, leads atheists to justify their position. They say, look, if there was a God, there wouldn't be all this injustice. But we say, no, you're missing something. There is a God, because every one of these credits that the criminal gets will be debited later on. And every one of these debits will be credited later on. No crime went unnoticed. Nothing is off record. Everything is being kept track of. And anything that you suffered here that you didn't get compensated for, you will get paid for it. What is that thing called? It's called the last day. In other words, if you don't believe in the last day, then you can no longer accept Allah is just. Allah, Allah's justice necessitates that you believe in the last day. You understand? So the two are logically connected. Now, if you do believe in the last day, wouldn't you want to be successful on that last day? And you, you've accepted that on that last day, you will be judged by Allah. So wouldn't you want to act righteously? Right? So first came the belief in Allah. A logical consequence of that is believing in the last day. And if you've come to the realization that there is a last day, then what are you going to fix? Your deeds. Such a powerful reality captured in just three phrases. مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا And this is the mentality of the believer inside these words. And all of this is connected. Now the, the reverse of this is also true. If, you're, if you don't see yourself doing a lot of good deeds, what's weak? Belief in the Akhirah is weak. I don't, I'm not so sure if I'm going to get rewarded all that much for what I'm doing, so it's not worth my time to do. There are other things that are taking my time, because obviously I'm convinced that's a better use of my time. In other words, when you don't see yourself convinced of doing good deeds, it's actually a, not a weakness in being good, it's a weakness in believing in the afterlife. You're not getting enough reminder or reinforcement about the next life. But if the belief in the next life is weak, what does that lead to? Belief in Allah being weak. The remembrance of Allah being unnecessary. You see how it reverses? So good deeds, the more you do them, the more it fortifies your belief in the next life. And the more you fortify your belief in the next life, the more your, you know, your expectation from Allah increases. Your belief in Allah increases. And the reverse is also true. So this amazing formula has been given that has been timeless.